Hi, welcome to Abby's Den, I'm Abby. Now, in today's video, I have picked up a Lidl's Silver Crest Green Sewing Machine. It was released at the end of January. I've just managed to get around to opening the box. It seems like it's just a very simple, basic sewing machine, and they look like they are going to be quite reliable. I'll go through what you get inside the box and how it's presented, and then we're gonna give it a try. I've cut some fabric out. I'm gonna make a little bag for a child so um, we can see how it performs and I'll give you the measurements in the description below. The first thing I would recommend that you do is look through your manual. Make sure you understand basically the function of the machine, what you get with the machine. If you open up the flip side here you can see all the details. In front of the machine you've got your stitch length here so you go from zero which is no millimetres so you're not moving at all this represents your buttonhole. So when you want to stitch at a buttonhole, you want to keep this dial between zero and one. S1 and S2 represent the different stitches on this dial here. S1 is blue and it represents all blue stitches. So if I turn this dial, I will get the blue stitch rather than the black or the red. On the top here, you have your zigzag width. So the longer you go, so the more you go up to five, the wider your zigzag will be. If you go to zero and select zigzag, you'll have no zigzag because you've not selected a width at all. So you have a zero width on your zigzag. So you're essentially sewing a straight line. On here, you don't actually have a stretched stitch per se, the line involved. So a zigzag on one, or less than one will give you a slight zigzag so when you're sewing knitted fabric you might want to select that stitch quite often people use the blue or the red on a straight stitch which is a triple stitch to give you a stretch stitch this is the tension here here we've got the reverse button and that helps you to lock the stitches so they don't unravel this is your thread take up lever always when you finish sewing make sure it's at its highest position and you can do that with the hand rule with the notch that's there and you slip it along the seam. If I open this up I have a bag of accessories and you can see the accessories listed in the manual here. I flip this page over. You've got a list here which identifies all the different parts of the sewing machine and then all the accessories. The next thing um, you I'm going to draw your attention to is the technical data. Now there's not much you really want to be looking at but what it tells me here is um, the power of the machine is 70 watts so that's really good. It's a nice power for something that's only 69.99. Um, it tells me the size of the machine so it's your standard sutter size. You can see I've got some machines in the background and it sort of fits along all those uh, beginner machines that you see. It's very similar to the Singer's Tradition. Um, in fact, it's almost a carbon copy of it. Um, its weight is 5.6 kilograms, so it's not too heavy. It's something that you can take to class, or if you want, you might want to tuck it away behind the sofa. So it's not too heavy, it's not too big, but it's a good size for you. Um, it tells me here that it's an oscillating hook sewing machine. What that means is basically telling me it's a front loader machine. If it was a rotary hook, it'd be a top loader. You get a packet of needles. So you've got two size 14s, which are 90, and a size 11, which is a 75. Now I'll tell you now that 90 is 0.9 of a millimetre. So you know that 0.9 is a thicker needle. That thicker needle is great for things like denim, for upholstery fabric, so if you're making curtains. And that 75 is great for your fat quarters, you know, your lightweight cottons. Um, but these aren't ballpoints, so if you're using a sort of a jersey fabric, a knitted fabric, um, then you want to get ballpoint needles. These will skip stitches on your fabric. You've got a needle threader. I don't always like these on sewing machines. I don't think they work for me. So that would be great for hand sewing. A quilting bar. That will give you nice straight seams when you're doing quilting. You've got a button foot, which is upside down. It sits that way. Uh, concealed zip uh, foot. 
and a regular zip foot. That's going to be complicated for beginners. So when you're beginning, start with this zip foot. It's a buttonhole foot. This is a downing plate. You can't drop the feet off on this machine um, to do free motion embroidery. You get three extra bobbins for the bottom half of the threading. And you get a brush to keep your machine clean and also a seam lift, which is really handy. So tuck that in there and you've got a nice long handle to hold. Some oil. Lots of people have this misunderstanding that you don't need to um, oil your machine. You do. Just a drop of oil does really help your machines and it's, um, it's just really obvious. Fibres tend to dry your machine of oils, soaks it all up, and then there's no oil in your machine. So you do need to put a drop now and again in there. The power cable and the foot control cables, I tend to think if they're about one and a half metres, I'm happy with that. Because if I think my table is about 80 centimetres off the ground, I want to be able to have my machine away from the edge of the table. What should I think about this machine? The Karina is a good machine. It's made by Silvercrest. It's sold in the supermarket at 69.99. You don't get the extra sales, which you will need to uh, go to Germany to get. I've never had the, uh, to experience the um, after sales with this company or with um, any of other little uh, companies, Singer because they're actually manufactured in Germany and I am able to repair the machines. I've never had any problems with them. If you're going to return the machine, you'll have to return it to Lidl and get a refund and just wait um, until they release more machines. But it seemed to be that they're releasing a lot more machines than they used to in the olden days. The number of accessories um, is great. At £70, it's a really good buy. And not only that, um, you don't get cheap plastic um, feet with the machine like you do with maybe the Brother machines at the lower end. You actually get metal feet, which is better for the environment and also a lot sturdier for us. So they're going to last a lot longer and they're more reliable. So I think that's a great buy. They give you a zip foot. Um, a regular zip foot but they also give you a concealed zip foot you might not if you're a beginner use a concealed zip foot to start off with a lot of people need to build up confidence but it's very easy to use and I have done a video showing you how to use a concealed zip foot um, and it's really easy to do so I think it's a great buy with all the accessories I also like the fact that it's a fabric cover on the machine just like the single ones do um, rather than plastic covers that you get again with you know the Janomis and the Brothers. So you want to get rid of the plastic, you want to get rid of all of that. So to me that makes a really good um, incentive for, uh, for purchasing. Now I made this bag on the machine, it came out really well. I was pleased with the stitches, the regular stitches, the way the machine performed, the way it handled all of the um, stitching. The only problem is Again, at the low end price, you're not going to get the best feed off, in which case then when I have to just tie off the edges of the ties um, to sew them down, uh, the edges of a fabric on a, a top stitching is quite chunky because the fabric's not sticking on the feed off properly. So that's not a huge problem because I got the result that I wanted, that it was closed. I, I could have sewn it by hand. Again, you've got to think about price and you have to think about compromise. Um, again, it did the job. It might not be beautifully perfect, um, but it did the job and I'm happy with it. And so it did a nice close stitch on the turning hole. So I was pleased with that. That was really good. Overall, you get 33 stitches, which is really good. The buttonhole stitch really looks good and really nice and tidy. So I like that. Again, uh, compared to other machines that you see in this price range, those buttonholes aren't as neat as this one. And you know, I think about the fact that I've been using other machines for years and years and years. Um, to get a Karina that performs this well at £70 is brilliant. So even though it's made by Sil Silvercrest, I do believe it's made probably and more than likely in the same factories. It's got the guts as they say, of a singer in my mind. Even the dials are all, you know, the threading up and the decal is the same. So you're getting a good machine. 
I would definitely recommend this machine to a beginner, to an in intermediate sewer. It's a, it, it is a good price. It's one of those lightweight machines that you can put away. I would definitely recommend it. So if you're lid up with sewing room, go grab one. 70 quid, there's not much to lose. You take care, have a lovely day. Don't forget to subscribe, like if you like the video and take care. Don't forget to watch these bag making videos. See you soon.